Week 29, Insects, Day 5, Friday. Hi everyone! Hi Sugar! Guys, this week we are going to learn about insects. Don't forget to watch the video and do your activities. Let's, Let's go, go work. work! Hello guys, this week we're learning about insects. Today, we're going to work counting and graphing some insects that I have here. And you're going to help me to do it. Let's start. The first is a dragonfly. Let's check here how many dragonflies we can find. Let's see. We have one. And that's it. It's just one for now. So we're going to go to our graph and we're going to make a letter X because it's only one dragonfly. Let's go to the next insect. We have a cute ladybug. Let's see how many ladybugs do we have here. Help me to count. One, two, three. Four and five. We have five ladybugs. So what are we going to do in our chart? We're going to make letter X counting up to number five. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Now we have a bees right here. Let's give a quick look. Bees. We have one, two, and this is the mama big, three. See, no more. One, two, three bees. So let's go and check up to number three. One, two and three three bees now we have caterpillars caterpillars count with me one and two two caterpillars today okay <laughs> one and two, two caterpillars. And then we have two butterflies, one and two, two butterflies. Let's check in our graph, one and two. So let's go do a quick review. How many Dragonflies do we have? Only one, that is in the number one column, right? How many ladybugs? We have five, five ladybugs. How many bees? Three, three bees. How many caterpillars? Two. How many butterflies? Two. So that is an easy way to do a graph and you know how many insects do you have of each kind. All right. Count each kind of insect, then fill in the graph. Hey guys, now it's time to stretch. Let's go do yoga. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. 
Now let's look through the cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Ooh, look at their colours and the shapes all spinning around and around. Can you see the picture? Yes! Look! It's an ant! It's Arnold the ant! What's Arnold doing? He's doing yoga! He's doing crab's pose! Oh, Arnold, as you can see, is an ant! Let's try an ant pose! Coming onto your knees, everybody! Put your elbows down in front of you and cup your chin in your hands in your ant pose. Now Arnold lives in a tree. Coming up to stand in tree pose. Bring one foot on top of the other, your hands together and grow your tree up nice and tall. Now Arnold's tree is a special tree. It's an apple tree. Try the other foot now, swapping the other side, bringing your heel on top, your hands together, growing up tall. And can you open your branches and wiggle your fingers like you've got lots of apples dangling? Well done! Now Arnold lives in one of the apples on this apple tree. Now Arnold has a dream, a big dream. He wishes to be an astronaut. He wants to fly in space, to zoom around the moon, joining your feet together, hands above your head and lean over to one way, making a moon shape, and over to the other way, making a moon shape. He wishes to fly in a rocket. Point your hands up high and jump your feet wide. Oh, to fly in space around the planets would be an amazing, awesome adventure. But how will Arnold ever make it into space? Back in his ant pose, down on his knees, elbows in front, cupping his chin, Arnold sighs, a big sigh. <sighs> it's autumn and the wind blows the leaves from the trees. Coming up to sit with your knees, hands down in the middle, lifting up as you breathe in. And breathing out as you lower down. All of the little animals start to hibernate, tucking yourself all the way down, preparing themselves for the winter. And coming up to sit, because all of the ripe juicy apples start falling to the ground. Arnold's apple comes tumbling down and rolls along the ground. Sitting on your bottoms, hug your knees and squash your chin down like you're squashing a tomato. Now rock all the way back and all the way up. Whoop. Ooh. He rolls and he rolls. Whoop. Ooh. So much so that he gets very dizzy. It feels like a washing machine inside that apple. Crisscross your fingers, put them behind your head. And let's go a-spinning. Wishy, 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 woo! Wishy, 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 woo! Oh, poor Arnold. But his apple lands at the feet of a little girl called Angela. Coming up to stand, Angela folds all the way forwards and she picks up the beautiful juicy ripe apple that Arnold is inside. Mmm, I'm going to give this to my daddy. And she runs, run, 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 all the way back to her house. Jump your feet wide, hands above your head. Now Angela's daddy is inside, packing a suitcase for a work trip. Coming down to sit, legs out long, bend your knees and touch your toes. He opens the lid of the suitcase, Oop. arms wide, he twists one way to get his anorak. Here it is, wraps it up Ooh. and pops it in. Ooh. He takes his arms wide and he twists the other way to get some ankle socks. Here's one and here's the other. Oop. Whoop. Then he lifts his arms and he closes his suitcase. Ooh. 
Angela gives her daddy a great big hug. Oh, daddy, I'm going to miss you. And she gives her daddy the apple, which has Arnold inside as a present to take with him. Oh, honey, thank you so much. But you don't need to miss me. I'll be calling you on the telephone. He picks up his telephone and he shows her, you see? And putting the telephone down, I'll be watching down on you. Bring your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. I'll be watching down on you, my darling, from the space station, where I'll be up in space doing all of my space duties, being an astronaut. Arnold, who is still inside the apple, rubs his ears. Did he hear that right? Did Angela's daddy just say that he was an astronaut and he was going up into space and that he was going to take Arnold the ant with him in the apple? Yes! Arnold's dream is coming true! <gasps> he crosses his legs, brings his hands together at his heart and closes his eyes and he sends Angela the biggest namaste to thank her. One, two, three. Namaste. Arnold settles down in his apple. Lying himself down, he can barely contain his excitement. But he closes his eyes and he prepares himself for the ride of his life. Now Arnold is a little ant with a big dream. And dreaming is so important. Without a dream, nothing will ever happen. And you can dream to be or to do whatever you wish to do or be. If you can dream it, you can be it. So dream big, like Arnold. And your dreams may come true. We lie still, imagining what our dream is, enjoying making it happen in our mind. We see Arnold up in space, in the rocket, flying around the moon as he always wished. And now it's time to wake up. We wiggle our fingers and our toes. We bring our knees to our chest and give them a hug. We roll onto our side and we come up to sit with our legs crossed, our eyes open and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three, one, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming on the Arnold the Ant adventure. You were great. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Do you really like the bugs and insects? Because I love them. I know, guys, you're doing a super great job.